Hello everyone, uh, this is the Flying Dutchman. You're watching Flying Dutchman Productions. Uh, we're still here in uh, Dresden. Uh, we're picking up where we uh, left off uh, last time. So, um, I took uh, some uh, time to explore the city and uh, go to the repair store and uh, take a nap. Uh, but we're still uh, almost out of gas, so uh, let's see if we can uh, get a job and uh, find a gas station in the neighborhood. Um, okay, let's try Acres. Let's just... Oh, what luck. So... Yeah, I've had a... Um, stressful couple of days uh, even though I had uh, lots of free time to spare I had a free day today actually um, um, which I didn't expect to because uh, normally our thesis seminar would have started but um, the teacher cancelled it because he was sick so um, so I had some extra time, but I uh, only uh, now um, found the chance to make a video because um, I had uh, plenty of problems uh, the past two days. Uh, yesterday I had the... Uh... Okay, wait a minute. Okay, look at that. Amsterdam. The Tractor of the Beast. Number 666. Well, I think it's fitting. Um, I'm not even surprised that um, Satan has his farm in Amsterdam. Should be a song, but uh, yeah, we'll get to that some other day. Um, So yeah, yesterday I had some trouble uploading the videos and um, I tried using some uh, movie editors, um, preferably freeware, but um, they, they, they totally, um, will we make it? Yeah, we will. Um, they totally messed up my PC actually. They. Uh, they just bombarded it with viruses, so it was really... Um, I was really freaked out. Um, so I had to restore my computer for the upteenth time this year already. Uh, because uh, the year already started with uh, my computer um, giving me trouble. Um, I think I may have told you about it. Um, And then after I restored it, my internet, my uh, connection stopped working. So uh, I changed my um, I changed my router. So that so uh, yeah, now it works again, and the videos uh, finally uh, were uploaded. So I'm very happy about that. But uh, then. Uh, when I woke up today, I got that nosebleed, and um, oh yeah, I got a nosebleed under the shower. Um, I've never had a nosebleed in my life before, so that was really uh, Jesus Christ. Um, and um, so I was uh, kind of woozy the whole day. And then my uh, headset broke uh, broke down while I was uh, playing. I just took it off, and it was the second time already. So I was um, Sunday. I was uh, Saturday. I bought it. Sa uh, Sunday it broke down for the first time. Uh, so I went back to exchange it. Um, 
And uh, then it broke down again. Oh yeah, gas. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, that should be doable. Um, let's hope so. Because I don't want to have to call uh, first aid. Let's uh, slow down a little too. Don't want to kill anybody. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I had plenty of disappointments this week somehow, even though um, work went well. and uh, But, uh, yeah, I've missed work. Uh, tomorrow I'm... I hope tomorrow I'll be uh, able to go to work again, because uh, I don't want to pass out on any money, actually, to be honest. But I also enjoy it, you know, so... And I've still got a cold, I'm still uh, kind of paranoid that my nose, uh, nose is going to start bleeding anytime uh, soon, but... Uh, anytime, but um, yeah. Okay, there's the gas station with inside. So, um, yeah, what an introduction. Um, one of the other disappointments uh, that came with that headset, actually, is uh, I couldn't withstand the uh, the urge to um, try to obtain more truck simulators. Um, so I bought a box set. Uh, which they had at the at the media market, but um, uh, it was I should have known it was a rip off. I mean, it was it was really bad. All right, let's tank. But yeah, uh, it was called World of Truck. So it was like in in singular. So it was like a kind of um, cheeky um, a response to uh, what SES is working on with World of Trucks. Which uh, oh, sorry. Um, I don't know. Um, it had it had a few good ideas, or you know, it had all the things you'd 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 want to try out if you've tried out Euro trucks, you know. So it had um, Australian road train simulator, um, an American trucker sim, which was you know, it's yeah, um, and. Uh, what was it? Uh, Arctic uh, truck uh, simulator and all that kind of stuff and it was terrible I mean uh, the graphics were were crap and um, oh, I'm sorry I uh, see I'm getting all uh, worked up about it uh, and I'm uh, driving over the speed limit let's keep it at that shall we so uh, yeah, if you uh, come across uh, a game like that, don't buy it. Just buy uh, Euro Trucks and uh, wait for the DLCs to come out. Which, when they come out, they'll they'll just be uh, good quality. I hope at least. But um, yeah, I have no reason to doubt it because they have the programming, so they can finish it. You know. So. I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, Scandinavia actually, the Scandinavia DLC, and uh, even more so perhaps for to the for the um, American Truck Simulator, obviously, uh, just because um, I like to. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to finish Euro Trucks too too soon. You know, I don't want to spoil it uh, for uh, for myself or anybody. Um, because um, I'm also planning on driving through Europe, so I, for me the real experience has precedence. So I only just go back and forth and discover the map as it goes, um, and just go for the for the highest bidder every time. Because uh, I don't want to bother too much with explore. I, I want to explore definitely. I mean, there's there's plenty of stuff to explore in this game and. 
Um, and they also have taken some liberties uh, with... Uh, how do you say, with the details of the roads and the cities they include in the map and uh, all that stuff, so... I'm not, a, I'm not worried that I'm gonna... You know, that it's really going to have any effect, but it's just my kind of uh, doing things. I like to take things slow, and especially with this game, uh, I have no hurry in the world. I have all the time in the world, so... Uh, that's the way I like to play it. Even though I'm still past beyond the, the speed limit, and I really need to pay attention to the road. So, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, hoping in the future to see uh, Mediterranean DLC, and I would really like to see. Um, I would really like 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 to see it include Greece because um, I want to go to Greece. I want to travel to Greece. I mean, I've lived there for eight years, um, but I'd um, I'd like to go back, and I also am thinking um, of. Uh, making a pilgrimage there when I get my uh, trucker's license, so I kind of want to prepare for that too. Um, so it would be nice to uh, to see that included in uh, Euro Trucks. I mean, in uh, Euro Trucks One, which I've also played for uh, f for a little while before I bought this. Um, because I just uh, tried out the trial version first. Um, that did include the whole uh, of Europe for the most part, but uh, at least Italy and and uh, Spain and all that stuff. But uh, it didn't include Greece, and uh, I would like to see that. But yeah, if. Um, yeah, I have several reasons to go back there actually because um, I still need to finish my uh, uh, army duty there. I don't know uh, what it's called specifically, but I need to do that and I need to bring back some stuff. Uh, my brother left here in the Netherlands, so. Uh, a trucker's license would definitely come in handy, I think, and um, and we are also uh, we also have uh, plans in Greece because we have a family farm there. So I would like to um, uh, yeah to find a chance to uh, to make something out of it. So uh, I also think, uh, tra um, you know, a tractor's license might also come in handy. And uh, I already um, ordered a book on uh, a world encyclopedia on uh, trucks and tractors. I'm pretty excited for the. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, lots of possibilities, I think. But yeah, I'm also, um, yeah, I'm also thinking of playing some Minecraft maybe, but um, I have no um, real plans on that, uh, maybe uh, someday just for fun, see how it goes, but I'm kind of a noob with it, I've tried it before, uh, I've played some Minecraft, uh, I don't know, last year or something for the first time, not very, uh, no, not, not, not very long ago, so. Uh, but uh, let's first see how this goes. Um, I'm I'm also not really planning on bombarding YouTube with it. It's just because I had a free day today. I uh, wanted to record something, so you might also see another Baldur's Gate video. Um, but that also might just come tomorrow. It depends, and. Um, 
but it all depends on my schedule I guess uh, because the seminar is yet to start and um, and I still got work obviously and I got uh, a couple of uh, more dentist appointments to go to go through so uh, we'll see how exactly it works out but uh, I think there will there'll be uh, plenty of opportunities for me to uh, Uh, to squeeze something uh, in between. So I'm just, um, you know. Uh, I also don't know yet if I'm gonna play uh, Euro Trucks just to record or if I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. Like today, um, I did some exploring without recording it because. I don't want to bore you guys, so I think I uh, might do, you know, depending on uh, how, how it goes or what I want, uh, some, uh, um, some, uh, you know, play, you know, it depends, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to record everything, uh, also, I just introduced to it, you into the game, uh, like, in the middle, uh, I'm already... Uh, quite experienced. I'm already level 22 here, I think. So, I don't think it really matters. It's just more, uh, I just want to show you guys around and have some fun. And, uh, so there's no real uh, storyline here, if you will, or uh, continuity. But uh, Baldur's Gate, for example, I really want to play the playthrough, I think, because I like the character I made, even though um, I think I could have maybe um, <clears throat> made it a little bit um, um, you know, could have maybe done it a little bit better, but uh, I think I'm just going to stick with it, because uh, I'm having fun as it is. So... But, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about Baldur's Gate here. I'm gonna have the video for that, so... Don't let me, uh... So, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to Amsterdam. To deliver a tractor to Satan's farm. Actually, I don't know which company it is I need to deliver it to. Amsterdam Stokes. So it's Stokes, I guess. Well, sounds about right. Um, but yeah, I do think it's fitting. I mean, um, I have a... I don't know. I, I don't like Amsterdam. Uh, actually, I dislike it even more than uh, Rotterdam. And you could say, in generally, I dislike capital capital cities. Um, depending, though, on the situation. But, um, for example, I never disliked Berlin or where I've lived for the most part of my childhood. Um, and I never disliked I Athens either, where I lived the rest of my childhood. So. But Amsterdam, I don't know, Amsterdam seems like a kind of um, uh, Dutch version of uh, San Francisco or something, you know, um, kind of, um, I don't know, they're so full of themselves or something, so they have all these like weird snobbish parties and, um, and uh, political uh, opinions and whatever and um, social justice uh, warriors and whatever so I don't like it I uh, used to study in Rotterdam uh, when I first came here I stayed there for a year at the Arts Academy it was actually well I had fun there and I did make some friends even though I uh, lost contact with them uh, pretty soon after I left um, but yeah, um, if I'm gonna 
um, do a logistics um, course, then I'll have to go back to Rotterdam, which uh, is interesting to say the least. Um, I think, I don't know, Rotterdam in comparison to Amsterdam, you know, they have the same kind of uh, schizophrenic tendency or something, but at least in Rotterdam you know that it's it's been bombarded in the past in uh, World War Two, and uh, they you know they kind of have that that weird um, post-war mo modernization um, and industrialization complex or something. So I don't know. It's it's understandable, but um, Amsterdam is just a um, city full of um, how do you say? It's kind of it's kind of spoiled, you know. So, and you can taste the decadence in the air there, and I don't like it. So, um, but uh, yeah, I still have my garage there. Um, but that's more for convenience sake, I think, because I'm looking to expand as soon as possible. I'm gonna. Um, I, I think. Um, you know, I want to play uh, just through the uh, Steam achievements here, so I I, I want to start now with uh, buying all the garages in my country, which in my case is pretty easy because there are only three cities in the Netherlands, so uh, that's a plus, although uh, it's kind of an easy way out, but I want to expand also to Belgium after that because I really love Belgium. And it's logical, you know, every company in the Netherlands, uh, when they expand, the first thing they go to is to Belgium. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do as well. And uh, uh, Yeah. So that's going to be fun as well. But uh, it's going to take time, because I don't know, as I said, um, if I'm gonna record everything, because if I am, uh, my progress is gonna be real slow, I think, because I already have the tendency to uh, replay everything I do as soon as I make a mistake or to uh, to reload the game and stuff when I uh, make a mistake if I'm not recording. So, I just might do some odds and ends here and there um, and record those and uh, keep my uh, steady work to myself also uh, there's gonna be plenty of uh, screenshots I should maybe include a link on my profile uh, you'll probably see it appear uh, as it goes so uh, you'll be able to visit my uh, world of trucks account and my steam account maybe I don't know uh, how, how this works so I'll, I'll uh, we'll see and um, I don't know. I might uh, include my blog there if you if you like. But uh, I do see my blog as a different project. You know, um, I don't. I couldn't compare. Uh, wow! Suddenly I uh, forgot. I could drive a lot faster here, so let's just do that. Um, but yeah, my blog is is uh, mostly poetry and uh, and aphorisms. Um, so I don't know how, you know, I don't know how much it will, would interest you, but um, I, I could include it. I've had, um, yeah, I've had lots of experience with my blog, but um, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm kind of done with it. Let's just um, go there before we make a stupid mistake again. Uh, 70-80, uh, let's see how much time we've got, 17 hours, although uh, probably gonna have to rest at some point, we can make it in 6, so if we just... Um, I need to get to 80. Let's see how uh, where we're gonna go. Uh, Hanover. 
Osnabrück and Amsterdam. So it's not very far away. Um, but I need to take a rest somewhere. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see how much time we need for that actually. Four hours. Damn, I need to hurry. Yeah, I don't want to take too long because. Um, Yeah, I, I, I don't know how long I was driving uh, slowly here. And this is the highway, I need to drive a little faster because I need to make a good time. So. But yeah, I like those details too, um, uh, about how to drive and I don't know, I've been thinking about those. I, I haven't had uh, driver's lessons yet. So, so I'm kind of constructing my own logic uh, like um, generally I tend to drive in the middle even though I didn't do that a lot uh, this uh, session I think um, unless well, obviously I need to uh, to get off the road um, and you know when I'm in the middle I can always go left or right uh, so I have the least chance of hitting something um, but at the same time it's kind of it's kind of harder when uh, people are passing you by especially on both sides to just stay in the middle and not uh, have any accidents but um, I think I'm getting used to it and uh, I generally try to avoid the the middle the I mean the the left side because that's usually closest to uh, a wall or something so yeah I found those uh, observations interesting too now I'm right now I'm driving way beyond the speed limit so I should uh, slow down a little um, three hours let's see Hanover okay getting past Hanover now so we might have um, have enough time I need to find the right spot to uh, to rest. I, I should um, I should have planned this out better. That's also very important. I mean, uh, in this game you can't do that. In real life, you should uh, you have to learn that too. How to plan uh, the route and uh, go from uh, one place to another, and how to plan all your uh, your stops and stuff. More or less. I mean, you also get a. Um, how do you say? Oh, okay, I just passed this one by. I hope I'm going to have enough time for the next one. Three hours. Osnabrück. Okay, I think it's going to be close, but uh, we might be able to make it. I really hope so. So, um... <clears throat> Ah oh, shit again. Okay, well no damage, so let's just go with it because I'm not in the mood to do this anew. I just let's just hope um, I'm not messing this up any further. Let's just um, say it's because I was tired because um, my driver is tired. Fifty nine. So yeah, I need to pay more attention. Maybe I should go to the right. Maybe I should drive a little faster, but it's it's kind of cramped in here again. I'm going to the right. All right. Well, sometimes I also have the tendency to drive on the right side. Also because there you don't have a right side to worry about because you're not very um, you're not too close to the fence you know so you can uh, kind of there's always this um, emergency uh, space uh, where no gen usually nobody uh, will bother you so uh, but on the other hand if you drive on the right side too much 
Um, yeah, it can also get dangerous because then you have these corners uh, coming up once in a while, and you have to kind of cut them, uh, cut them over. I already have that problem. Had that problem a couple, of, uh, a couple of times at least, to say the least. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, let's see again. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna have to go there. We're gonna have to go right anyway, so it's gonna be fine. All right, I'm gonna stick to the right side. But um, yeah, what else? But uh, yeah, it seems. Um, Seems like this tractor won't let me uh, drive in peace for some reason. I've already had to redo this uh, this video about uh, I don't know five times already. Uh, I I I know this isn't healthy. I mean, um, I'm too much of a perfectionist, and I want it to be right in one go. So if I fail, I just have to do it all over again. But then I have to remember all, everything I said because I also have a kind of list of things I want to say um, I think it may sound pretentious but uh, you know I have the news of the day or something and I don't know the thing with uh, viruses and the games um, I don't know I find that uh, important to just uh, give you an idea about uh, how I think about certain things because um, I don't know, it's easy to get fooled or something. Um, I just want to be... Uh, on the one hand, I want to be spontaneous and on the spot, so I don't write things down or anything, but... Um, oh, did you stop for me? Okay. Again, with this stopping. Hopefully it's not going to start driving while I'm uh, in the middle there. Okay, uh, we need to get it, find the gas station soon, two hours. Um, but yeah, so on the one hand, uh, you know, it may, I, uh, may practice things a little in my head before I do things, or I may have already decided on a list of things I'm going to say when I start a video, so I'm not totally unprepared, but, um, on the other hand, I'm trying to be kind of spontaneous and, uh, make some jokes but uh, for example the tractor thing is not spontaneous you know obviously I just like the the poetry of it you know 666 so uh, I thought that's a nice uh, touch for a second video so yeah I had an accident whatever gotta take the good with the bad right so I just hope, uh, see I, I need to slow down though, that's part of the reason why I, uh, all right. But yeah, um, I'm actually um, feeling a lot better now. <sighs> playing, um, it, I don't know. This game really helps to clear my head. It's just that um, it takes a while to get into the mood, you know. Sometimes, especially today, especially when I'm um, stressed out or like um, angry about stuff, you know, like my headset or uh, stuff like that, and. It's hard for me to concentrate, but um, when I just let it go and just um, enjoy the moment, it's okay. I just, yeah, I just hate uh, crashing into people. I, you know, I like um, I like that part of the game. You know that it um, 
encourages um, decent driving, I don't know. So I want to live up to it, but um, also especially because I want to do it in real life too. So. I, you know, I really wonder um, <sighs> if I'm the only one who uh, likes this game in this sense. Uh, I can hardly imagine that that being the case, you know. Um, I mean, I never, before I discovered Euro Trucks, I never thought about trucks in that way. I mean, not that I didn't notice them or that I didn't like the... Um, the image they have or something but this game really woke up something in me you know and I I wonder how many people uh, felt that way uh, who are new to trucks like I am I mean you know that they really want to do this and this game enables them to um, to get attuned with the idea or something Because, you know, I, I, I don't know, even even as kids, even for kids, um, playtime is important, you know? It's, it's also uh, educational. So if you look at uh, Toys for Boys, it's all um, practical stuff, you know, somehow. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. My driver's getting exhausted. I hope I'm gonna make it though. Oh shit. I hate this when this happens. Um, so yeah. If you get too exhausted, you... Um, you may pass out on, this, on the wheel, so... What an asshole. So, um, you need to be careful. Uh, so I should have stopped at the last stop, but yeah, what you gonna do about it? I hope I'm gonna make it now. Before I pass out, because, um... Although, you know, it, you can prevent it, I think. There's a way to just keep yourself awake. Yeah, thanks. What? Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. You should avoid that also. So, um, but yeah, they, uh, at least I uh, was careful enough. Oh, where's the tank station? Oh shit, man. This is gonna, this is gonna be uh, dangerous. I might even get a fan for it. See, that's what I mean. Oh boy. This is really Satan's job. I, I really feel like a ghost ship now. Flying Dutchman coming your way. I might just crash into you. Actually, um, the joke is I'm pretty tired right now myself. Because uh, I was already feeling woozy with my nosebleed and stuff. And... Um, then I had to go to the media market, which isn't really far away, but it's not not really close either. I had to take the tram, and it was kind of cold. And um, with my cold and my dizziness, um, I felt really weak. And uh, well, now I feel better. I'm also warmed up, but um, I'm still pretty tired. Still need to go to the left because we don't want to take a wrong uh, turn. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I can stay awake longer than this guy, which annoys me. All right, doesn't annoy me. Let's not make a big fuss about it. But. Uh, Okay, at least it's still saying you're getting tired, which means that I'm not ex not not hundred percent there that you're there yet. Because if you uh, 
if you are, then he says, then it says that you uh, you're too tired to continue or something, and that you really need, really, really need to find a place to rest. So we, there might still be a chance. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, the gas station is a little for a little further, a little down the road. So we'll uh, we'll get there. Okay, it's kind of a stressful uh, video, but um, I don't know. I like the realism. I took a risk with this job, and uh, I'm showing showing it to you. So um, it's not gonna be 100%, but at least um, there's gonna be some action. So that's good. Yay! I made it. Would have thought. Let's tank also. Okay, I'm not gonna risk uh, going to the parking uh, stop next uh, next turn, so I'm just gonna stop here. Like kind of a sloppy uh, turn. Yeah, whatever. Maybe a little closer. There you go. All right. Good night, everybody. Hey, good morning. Or actually, uh, good evening. So yeah, we survived. Happily. I haven't made a single save till now, so there may be some auto saves, but uh, we'll just... Um, truck through it. And let's see how far we still have to go. Okay, not, not too far, um, I hope. I can make it in two hours and I still have th four. Okay, let's just... Um, this is gonna be a close call everybody, it's um, the second one already. Although at least now I'm uh, well rested and uh, full tanked. And also my garage is in the same town, so even if I weren't... Uh, um, I could still make it. So let's just... Um, yeah. Let's just take it easy, but not too slow. And just get there in time. And uh, we'll be fine. It's already starting to kind of... suck down my uh, frames per second but uh, what you gonna do about it well making lots of money thanks driver Ray I I don't even pay them half as much as what you, what they uh, bring to the company but yeah they're driving my trucks that was also one thing, you know, uh, I'm still paying uh, loans. Uh, you know, I didn't take a loan for my own truck. But uh, when I bought my, uh, when I hired my first drivers, I didn't realize I had to buy them their own trucks. Um, so I got an email at some point and I, it was already two days or something later. And they said, you have two days to buy us a truck or we'll be forced to leave you. And I was like, what the fuck? So I <laughs> got me a loan and I bought them a couple of trucks just so they uh, start driving again. And I'm still paying back for those. But yeah, whatever. I hadn't realized. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied right now. Uh, with my drivers, they they, have, they bring a good income and uh, yeah, and uh, I'm happy. I I yeah. I wish real life was like this. I think uh, many people do just. Uh, Just the certainty of it, I don't know. 
but yeah, this is of course uh, a thousand. Yeah, it's just simplified. So. <coughs> Sorry, I'm talking bullshit here. Uh, but yeah, that's the other thing uh, with the simulator, you know, um, like uh, the tow uh, trucking. Uh, like um, installing the trailer on your truck, on the back of your truck, I don't know. I think in real life it's kind of it's more complicated than just uh, driving into it and pressing T. <laughs> I think you also need to uh, to bind it and to uh, do stuff. I, I, I don't know how exactly it works, but uh, I don't particularly think it's the most difficult thing to do. But it's one of those details I need to pay attention to when I start doing this for real because. Um, I don't want to mess anything up, obviously. So. Let's see where we're going. Actually, the funny thing about my steering wheel is... Um, you know, I thought it would be more realistic, and in, in a sense it is, and it feels kind of like... I'm, I'm a bit more in control of the truck than I was or would be if I just played with keyboard. But... Um, at the same time, I I don't think it's like a real steering wheel, but if because if you look uh, how I steer like this, I just do little bits at a time usually because so it's uh, it's it's kind of like the keyboard. Uh, it's kind of like I'm pressing buttons, which is annoying. Uh, <laughs> I would like to be able to just make the turn like in one go, and but with the steering wheel I can't do that because. Um, or at least with the one I have because it's a cheap one. I don't know how it is with other models, but uh, um, this one bounces back and stuff, uh, which I don't mind actually. But um, it actually it's it takes a little while before it uh, reacts sometimes. So it has a kind of middle position. And it has a kind of space in between the middle and the right and the middle and the left, so it's kind of uh, confusing. Sometimes it uh, just takes a while to um, to really start steering, and once you do that, you uh, go too far, you know. So you need to so you need to keep adjusting, which uh, which I find really annoying. I would like to do it in one line. But yeah, what you what are you gonna? Me nothing. Let's look at the sides a little. So yeah, that's another thing. Looking around with the mouse, I'm not good at that. Um, I'm. Uh, that, yeah, that's complicated. I don't think it would be the same thing with. Um, uh, how do you say? With uh, with the throttle, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I need to go. I need to go right. Good thing there was nobody to my right because I would have murdered them. So yeah. But yeah, in cases like these, the steering wheel on the right is actually pretty handy because I can orient myself on the. on the side of the road, so... Oh, wait, it's green. Oh, let's see. Let's oh, shit. Okay, let's see. Oh! I'm so close. Don't mess it up now. Alright, got stuck on another corner. Need to avoid that, at least my cargo isn't damaged. So yeah, as I said, it's not going to be 100%, but um, let's see. We have one hour, we have two hours. Well, let's not exaggerate uh, background music. 
Um, okay, it started glitching like hell now with the music. Oh god damn it! Well, we'll get through it. Where the hell is this thing? Stokes, alright. So yeah. I wonder what Satan's so stoked about. Let's not get stuck in the corner again. Oh shit, again a challenge. Oh well, doesn't matter. That's good. Nice and sharp turn. Get ourselves nice and in line, hopefully. Let's see where we are. Well, that's not helping. Um, let's see. bit more careful but I think I got this under control um. hey, there's another tractor here okay let's not crash into it let's try one more time Okay, okay, we're close enough. Oh, shit. No! Oh, man. Uh, okay, well, I didn't damage my own cargo but there's a good chance uh, chance I damage the other one but yeah I'm a douchebag what can I say no no the other one Put more there the left. yeah okay well It'll have to do. So yeah, everybody. That's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. So uh, I'll see you next time.